Ultradocs allows you to merge data from your Gmail contacts into your documents. Let's create a new Ultradoc to see how this works. Let's get started by selecting one of our Gmail contacts. Track down contacts by selecting a group on the left or performing a full text search. The contact is now bound to the to prefix and will be replaced when sending out personalized letters. We are now ready to access all the variables in this contact. Let's create a new template to see how we can access these variables. Let us create a simple personalized letter. A template is just an ordinary Google document that can contain special placeholders. At the top of the page you will find the variables that you can use in your template. Track down and copy and paste the variables you are looking for into the template. Click on the button with a red icon to generate and download the document from your template. As expected, the full name of the selected contact has been merged into the document. We can now go ahead and create personalized documents for a number of contacts. Let us configure the actions that Ultradocs should perform when generating the documents. Let us upload all the generated documents to Google Drive. Specify a folder on Google Drive and a file name pattern for the generated documents. You can use all available variables in the file name. As the folder does not yet exist on Google Drive, Ultradocs will prompt us to confirm the folder creation. Now we are ready to go. Clicking on the batch icon will open the contact picker and allows us to select a bunch of Gmail contacts. The configured actions will then be performed for all the different selected contacts. Once you have selected a number of contacts, you can click on Run Batch to start the processing. Ultradocs will now generate personalized letters for all of the selected contacts. The generated documents will be uploaded to Google Drive. Let's open our Google Drive to verify if everything worked as expected. A new folder called Letters has been created and contains all the generated documents. So far so good. Let us now go ahead and improve our template a little bit. Let's pick another Gmail contact that we want to use as the sender. This contact has the from prefix and will not be replaced when running batch jobs. Again Ultradocs shows the detected variables. Let's use both of the selected contacts to create a proper letterhead. Let's insert a table to achieve the layout we are looking for. Ultradocs now provides the data from both contacts. So let us insert the full name of the contact with the prefix from. And let's also insert the formatted postal address of this contact. This is our sender address, so let's tweak the font size and underline it. Click on the button with the red icon at any time to generate and preview the document. Yeah, this looks okay. Let's now add the name and the postal address of the recipient. All data belonging to the recipient starts with the to prefix. Simply reload the browser tab containing the generated document to trigger another generation process. As the address of the recipient is stored in a single line, we will have to use the new line renderer to split it up into several lines. You can pass the delimiter, in our case the comma, to tokenize the address. Ultradocs allows you to render a postal address as a map by simply specifying the map renderer. Let's try this. All renderers that produce images 
can take several arguments like width and height to specify the generated image. Yeah, this looks great. Let's get rid of the table borders by assigning a white color to them. Let's also set the cell padding to zero so that the text alignment is correct. Let's add the full name of the recipient as the signature. If you've installed the Ultradox bridge from the Chrome Web Store, you can insert variables at the end of the document with a double click. Let's generate the document again by reloading the tab. Yeah, this looks much better. As Ultradox supports all formatting options of Google Docs, we are also able to insert a footer into our document. This is nothing new. Let us insert the full name, the postal address and the phone number of the sender into the footer of this document. Let us again leverage the new line renderer to split up the sender address into multiple lines. Let's use the work phone of the sender for the footer. It's working, but it's still not perfect. So let us again abuse a table to improve the layout. And let us check out another cool feature that allows you to render a contact as a QR code simply by leveraging the QR code renderer. Again, as this is an image renderer, you can specify width and height of the generated image. And let us finally insert page numbers into the footer. Ultradoc supports Google Web Fonts, so you can choose from more than 500 free and high quality fonts when designing your template. Okay, so the generated document shall now contain the QR code of the sender contact. Yep, looks good. Okay, let's also select the same font for the body of the document. Let's finally insert the current date by leveraging the standard variable now. Pick the date renderer to output the date in the desired format. Okay, let's reload the document. Yeah, we are almost done. In the same way as we've created the QR code for the contact, we can also insert the contact photo into our template. Okay, this looks good. Let us now generate the document for multiple contacts. We've already configured the upload action. We could also send out the mail to the different recipients, or we can leverage Google Cloud Print to print all the letters on any cloud-enabled printer. This will allow us to print the different letters in a batch and send them out by snail mail. Let's pick a bunch of contacts and start the document generation. If your template contains multiple images or is getting very large, this may take a while. Ultradox will now upload each generated document to Google Drive and create a cloud print job for the generated document. This will send the document to the configured printer. As you can see, after a while the documents arrive in Google Drive. Let's switch to the grid view. We will get a preview of the generated documents for each of the selected contacts. Thank you.